So behind me is Six Flags Carowinds, and this is your first time seeing the all new Carowinds theme park under the Six Flags brand. I'm with my buddy Mason, and we're gonna go check out Fury and make sure they have not changed the name of Fury yet, and show you guys all around this wonderful park known as Six Flags Carowinds. And in fact, this park has been ran pretty bad this year overall. I think everyone kind of understands that. So it's been performing like a mid-tier Six Flags Park. So hopefully things get better. Stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys all the new improvements since the big announcement yesterday. My name is Brandon. This is Theme Park Predictions. Behind me is Fury 325 or Goliath or Nitro. Stay tuned for major updates and breaking news from Six Flags Carowinds. And most importantly, Later in the video, you're going to meet a very, 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 and I mean very special guest of the channel. So you do not want to miss out on that because it's a pleasure to be at Carowinds, Six Flags Carowinds with this person. So stay tuned. So my first impression of Six Flags Carowinds, the drink stand by the entrance is actually open and it's hardly been open all year. So all things are good for now. Just to confirm, Intiminator is still Intiminator. It's not Superman yet, so I give it a week until you see the Superman, Superman logo on the sign there. Uh, so yeah, so anyways, all is good with Intiminator for now. So let's hope it stays that way. Though I could very well see this being themed to Superman, and I'd be okay with that actually. I think that'd be kind of cool since there's always been rumors about the Intiminator theme getting uh, you know, taken off the ride. So we shall see. They're getting ready for the ice skating rink over here for Winterfest or holiday in the park, whatever they want to call it this year. So we'll see. Well, we're having a Six Flags day here. I wanted to have Mason ride Woodstock Express a few times and it's closed. Come on, Carowinds. It just, uh, the park opened up around 45 minutes ago. It's a Friday, the park's open 4 to 10 p.m. And unfortunately, Woodstock's not in operation right now. So hopefully it opens up later. So we shall see. Gonna be heading up, heading up to Fury soon and checking out the other major rides here. Now we're gonna go check on Afterburn and make sure it's not themed to Batman the ride. And then we're gonna go check out, check out Copperhead, make sure it's not like Riddler themed or Joker themed. So having a beautiful day at Carowinds. I'm sorry, Six Flags Carowinds. It'll take me a little bit of time to get used to that. So good news is Afterburn still Afterburn, not Batman the ride. That's fantastic. So we'll see, we will see. I'm still have to go show you guys Fury, make sure it's not Goliath. So is Copperhead still Copperhead or do they retheme it and rename it? Let's all oh, go to the signs there. It's still Copperhead. No need to worry. Coming to Six Flies Carowinds in 2024 is maybe a new snack stand. 
This was recently removed, which was always pretty busy, so I'm kind of shocked. The bad news is Vortex is still in operation. Our special guest on today's vlog is riding Vortex right now. So overall, Carowinds, a Six Flags theme park, whatever we want to call it now. And by the way, what do you prefer if they do? Obviously, they've already announced they're going to have the Six Flags name be a part of it. Do you prefer Six Flags over the Carolinas or Six Flags Carowinds or Carowinds, a Six Flags park? Let me know in the comments. Everything's going pretty well today. I've heard some crazy rumors about Hurler getting a big piece of the turnaround completely re completely removed. So I'm gonna go check on that here soon. We have to check out Theory. But overall, Copperhead's photo booth is actually open and it's a very slow day today. I've never seen that they open all summer and it's open now, so bizarre. Uh, Vortex is still here, Nighthawk is still here, unfortunately. So hopefully uh, things, uh, you know, change up a little bit and uh, we, uh, you know, get something new here in a couple years. The new Carowinds. It's time for Carowinds to remove your theming for Carowinds. It's now Christmas time. All right, the special guest is the one and only. Wait for it, wait for it, drum roll. Katie's Coasters. That's the first time. It's our first time riding Vortex, so what do you think? It wasn't as bad as I was expecting, like I think Green Lantern's worse, but it's still not one of the best coasters out there, so probably Horrible. won't ride it again. If I had a match right now for kerosene, I would just do it. Do a Carowinds a favor. They wouldn't even get mad at me for it, that's the thing, like, it's bad. Now Hurler's bad, this is bad, Nighthawk is bad. How are you enjoying Six Flags Carowinds? Oh, it's awesome. You having a Six Flags day so far? Yeah, yeah, well, actually, are you having a good day or bad day? So you're not having a Six Flags day, no. though. So you're having a Carowinds day. So let's keep it that way, Six Flags. We'll see. But we're going to ride Fury and check out the rest of the park. Be sure to follow her channel and say hi to her father. He's great, too. He's the one in charge of the operation and, you know, all that great stuff. So, All right, now the moment everyone's been waiting for. Is Fury 325 still Fury 325 or is it Goliath, Titan? you know, all these other crazy nonsense names. And uh, luckily for us, it's still Fury 325. So that's fantastic news. We'll see how long that stays the name of it. Now, obviously they're not gonna change the name of Fury. Now, smaller rides or other rides, there's a potential for that, but not Fury. So that's great news. And it looks beautiful. It's running great. Cannot wait to ride it. Look at that. The whole turnaround's completely gone for Hurler. That'll be good. That part was really rough last year, so I'm very intrigued by this. Or this year was really rough. So hopefully good things are coming for Hurler. Look what Six Flags has added to Carowinds. I have no idea what this is, but new for 2020, end of three, maybe 2024. Looks like a cool little awning for a something. I don't even know what's gonna go here. Carowinds is so beautiful. Look at all the Christmas lights. It's so pretty. Real talk, the park's actually really good tonight. Though Kitty Hawk and Woodstock Express are closed today, so that really bumps me out. I was really looking forward to riding that with Mason. But uh, yeah, we just got some dinner. We're gonna go ride some more rides at Aeronautica Landing. And I'm going to give you guys my roundup on my thoughts of Carowinds, where the Six Flags comes together.
So that's gonna do it here at Carowinds. Now my final thoughts on recapping all the crazy news from yesterday, mind you, my son's on top of my shoulder, so it might be a little shakier than normal. Uh, remember that Cedar Fair owns 51% of the company, Six Flags 49. So that's a positive. I would feel a lot more leery about this or nervous if Six Flags owned majority share. However, Cedar Fair does. That's a huge positive. I definitely think they're gonna unleash some parks over the next few years. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, I don't think they'll sell parks to close them. I think they'll sell them to a different theme park operator. Uh, but as far as Fury and all these other big time coasters, uh, yeah, I definitely parks still have to survive. So people that say there's no competition now and they will not get new rides or new coasters, it, 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 that's a ridiculous statement because these parks still have to make money to please the investors and the stockholders and everyone else involved. So in order in, in order to increase attendance, you gotta keep things fresh. Now, will we see less expensive coasters at all parks? Maybe, but I still feel like we're still gonna see on average, you know, five, six new coasters between both chains, if you will, uh, every single year. And that's not a bad thing at all. You know, there might be some years a little bit less, but overall, Again, you still have to make money. And, you know, there's still a competition too because remember, remember Cedar Fair and, C and Six Flags now merged together to form a theme park chain that's going to be a great regional park and really enhance uh, the parks for that purpose so people don't have to go to Disney or Universal and SeaWorld and these other parks spend way more money to go to the parks. Obviously not everyone's gonna do that, but it's a great business strategy and uh, I definitely see it paying off for a lot of the parks. And I personally am not that nervous or scared or I I'm really excited about the opportunity to have these parks come together and Six Flags does a lot of great things, so does Cedar Fair. And I think it's, I think everyone's gonna be surprised in like two or, three, two or three years from now, I feel like everyone's gonna be a lot more, you know, s at, at peace with this and enjoying that the, what the parks offer. So what are your thoughts on everything? Let me know in the comments. And thank you guys for checking out Six Flags over Carolinas or whatever it's called now uh, with me. And this is Brandon, Theme Park Predictions, signing off. With that being said, remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters. You heard the man.